Don't you realize? The next time you see Test, it'll be over another town. The next time you take it Sky, it'll be in some other school. Our parents, they want the best of stuff for us. But right now they gotta do what's right for them. Cause it's their time. Their time. Up there. Down here, it's our time. It's our time down here. Time down here. Time down here. <laughs> Magnificent. I know what that is! Visionary. <laughs> Absolutely visionary. The next Spielberg that Brad Bird is. So, uh, anybody in the know now knows what we're talking about. Um, <laughs> yeah. We're talking about Fantastic Four, Episode 7. The Incredibles yeah. 2. Which, um, I'm gonna save you a bunch of time. Wholly unremarkable. Yeah. Didn't really do anything for me. Yeah, I have to preface, um, we had a pretty horrific theater experience. It's opening day. As Right yeah. before we go in, I had the thought, and I said to him, I said, yeah. you're playing a deadly game, my friend, with this yeah. with this time choice. Um, I We saw this, you know, first showing, first preview showing. The Incredibles 2. Yeah. And um, it's... Uh, it was just honestly one of the worst theater experiences of my entire life. It's pretty rough. It's just the people were the worst human beings on the planet. Teenagers. Yeah. Do you remember the and... Power Rangers movie where Ivan <laughs> Ooze says, Teenagers. Right. And it's not a case of where you say, hey, stop talking, because everyone in the theater is talking. Yeah. Everyone in the theater is It was a clapping. cavalcade of high schoolers and middle schoolers. Yeah, it was just... Mostly girls and effeminate oh. men as well. Yes. Effeminate boys as well. Yes. Uh, just as we were walking out, what did you witness as we were walking out? Uh, I, I uh, witnessed the next batch of tweeners... Skipping uh, as they yes. head to, headed to the door. Yeah. They didn't notice us, and he, he skipped to the door. He jumped in the he air. He had pink hair, <laughs> and his sides were blonde. He jumped in the air and clicked his heels like Dorothy. I have a serious <laughs> lack of faith in the yeah. unified school districts of this area. Yeah, I was or say, ununified uh, school districts. If you want to lose area. faith in all of humanity, um, yeah, this is this is the movie that's gonna depress you. My most uh, favorite part, people. my most, I was honestly, the only time I laughed was at the audience reactions. Yeah, there was a couple times where I laughed. He's so cute. <laughs> oh, yeah, just they were commenting about everything. And I'll mention one thing, because yeah. we'll just, I mean, we could spend the whole review just talking about the audience. But, I mean, In that case, I'll mention one thing after there's, do. there's a scene in the movie where uh, the baby's watching Johnny Quest on TV, and... This guy near me, he's like, "Oh my God, it's Johnny Quest!" They stay, they they <laughs> pan, they pan on on Johnny Quest for an extra second at the end when the right. Johnny and the Indian kid, what's his name? Uh, Seems Zim Salabim, whatever yeah, his name yeah, is. Yeah, whatever. Raji, maybe. Yeah. Anyways, they're like, "Go, Dad, go!" or something. Yeah. It stayed on the screen, it, and everyone in everyone in the crowd laughed. Like, is, are you kids? It's like, Do you know what Johnny Quest no, is? None of them know. It's a like, the show was in the '60s. In reruns on Cartoon Network uh, in the early 90s. Yeah. And it's just like, seriously, dude, you have to say that out loud. Like, I know what that is. That's Johnny Quest. Oh, my God. Like, I know that. I One, need to let everyone yeah. around me fucking know what that is. Well, it's just it's what, like, that's what, what movies is wrong are with now, you? man. It's nostalgia and weird feminist baiting. Nobody in... Well, but, dude, when we saw Ready Player One, nobody did that shit. Nobody fucking were did people that people annoying shit. in Ready Player One? No, we didn't. We didn't really. Not nearly you were this just, annoying. You were just pissed. Yeah, no, I, just I didn't. Like the there was nobody in. in uh, yeah, it's just mind blowing. One more thing about like, Johnny Quest, real baffling. quick. Why they show we're watching a movie and it was in Pixar computer animation. Yeah. Why did they play Johnny Quest verbatim? Why didn't they make that Pixarization? But anyways, minor oh, nitpicks aside, the footage, yeah. another audience experience. This one was notable to me. It was remarkable. Um, 
Well, I'll give you two more since I brought it up. All right? is, I mean, I'm, I feel like venting, so. <laughs> There's a moment where a good character is given goggles or a mask or something that turns them evil. The person directly behind me says to the ladies with, Oh my god, it's so obvious with those goggles that they're bad. How do the kids not know? Yeah, this is a kids movie, dude. They gotta kind of let the kids know extra hard that they're evil. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's it's baffling. I think most of these people don't go to the movie theaters. They just sit home and watch Netflix, and they just talk out loud while they're watching movies. It was real. They were so audible. Baffling. Not even whisper. Not even no. trying to, you know. And like hide yourself the, the laughs in the theater were so fucking obnoxious, and just the constant clapping throughout the movie. It's like. Who, like, how there fucking so simple-minded are you? There were so many people who kept trying to start them. There'd be one or two people after, like, it's not even, is it, was there, jo like, a cutesy thing they'd start? Like, the baby, wah, wah, wah. Yeah. Literally, that's it. There'd be one person. Yeah. And then it stopped. They'd, 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 they'd be like, all right, nobody's yeah. down with this. It's I like, can't do it. No one who made the movie can hear you. Like, why the fuck are you clapping? There was a couple moments, the people right behind me, um, they kept... It would be like a, a moment of exposition. Like, they'd show the yeah. bad lady had a pair of the glasses in her hand or something. And they're like, ha-ha. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, that, you fucking retarded? There, yeah, there Do you was, have any idea what's going on? There was two people behind us, and they had these very awkward laughs that every now and again, they would just be like, uh, 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 uh. Honestly, the was, dude sounded like... Oh, he sounded like a fucking retard. A feminine fucking moron, yeah. Yeah, and I, and I had to get up and leave and move. And See, was that why? I thought it oh, would yeah. have been because oh, the no, uh, no, no, awkward no. view. No, we were, I... It was pretty packed. We I, were way jammed. I okay. had to leave because I could not deal with the fucking sound. You know, I mean, their talking was one thing, but the sound of their fucking voice, like the <laughs>, laughs, I was like, I need to leave. And y you were totally right. Like, it didn't matter where you moved. Well, like, just as they're soon as fucking this, everywhere. Just as like soon as cancer. the preview started, I could I gauge the room. I'm like, all right, it's gonna be a low tone around the entire place the entire yeah. time. So just and it's try to drown it out. Try to just sit here and fucking. Do the your craziest thing. thing about it is like there was literally like no parents there. It was literally like all just like tweens. Yeah. Like the whole theater it was well, crazy. Six o'clock. Yeah, on a Thursday. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah, it was it was baffling. It was, it was truly, truly fucking disturbing. Nah. I, I, I cannot believe how well, miserable I was. Since I wasn't miserable the whole time, I, cause I was actually, I was enjoying how idiotic people were, I guess. I don't know, just how stupid. Well, yeah, were. I mean, listen, I would say like, you know, I have movie pass, so I can't. Somebody, leave and yeah. say I want a refund. Otherwise, I would have fucking left five yeah. minutes in. I would have walked right out. Of that See, this guy he usually sits and waits for credits every movie, even oh, when I it's a movie when the there's fuck no, out of there. there's definitely no post credit scene. All of a sudden, I just out. see this black shirt just dart up. Yeah, and march out. Immediately got the fuck out of there. First person out of the theater. Was there less people down there? Uh, the yeah, but it was just, once again, people who were fucking moronic. Like, mm -hmm. same shitty laughs, like, pointing out everything, crunching their fucking bottles, dropping them on the floor, just the loudest fucking eaters you've ever heard in your life. Like, it, I don't abdi abdicate oh using... Oh, my God. Never mind. It's, uh... No, please, like... Uh, I was thinking of go. something else. Forget about it. Um... Yeah. Let's, uh talk about the actual yeah, movie. Yeah, let's migrate into the film so, here. Uh, I'll say this, like, obviously we've, we've talked a lot about the theater experience. That's gonna heavily impact my score. It's just gonna, it's just gonna impact it. There's no way I can reasonably give this a, like a super critical rating because it was fucking I, I was just getting mind fucked to, I was ready for, for it. these people. I, just, I got, I was gauged and I was ready to go. Yeah. I but, can, I think I can make an honest and uh, subjective review based on the film. Yeah, I mean, I, I can give some things. Is I, I literally rewatched the first movie um, today. Actually, uh, I was gonna watch it last night, but I watched it um, this morning. And uh, the first movie is fantastic. Like it's you haven't really, seen it in a while. it's really good. Like an eight or a nine. Yeah. Honestly, it's that good. It's fantastic. Watch it tonight. Is it on Netflix or anything? I don't think so. Um, but. Uh, yeah, th this one I gotta just say right off the bat, it wasn't working for me at all. Like, why did why was it that the mother could only do stuff? Because in the first movie, it was all about the dad. 
in the first movie, it was all about his story. The villain was completely tied to him. And it was about the family getting together. So the sequel is about her and... And then the family getting together. Yeah. Right. I guess. It was the switch. I mean, they could have just worked the whole... Then they come together. Why wouldn't they just work together as a team in the second one? You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it was it was weird for me. And it picks up, like, literally right... I like that. At the end I of like the that. first movie. We didn't have to reintroduce everybody and yeah. do stupid stuff. Yeah, it's like, as soon as the first movie ends, it, that's where this takes place. Like I literally. found the little boy annoying. Not really. The In the family? Yeah. Yeah, he drove me crazy in this one. Like, a lot of things. I was just like, this Tropes. doesn't feel right. He was just cliche. He was like... When Jack, Jack are in way, like, where's Jack, Jack? He's the voice to the audience. He was so good the in the, uh... In the first in one? In the first one. It just, everything felt off to me. Oh, and no! That's... Not the screech! I said that when people yeah. reacted one more time on the audience, since I just remembered it, they reacted to this sort of pseudo-fake Fantastic Four that they made up. They're like, yay! You've never seen these characters before? What the fuck are yeah. you... They didn't exist before now! I and mean, it's it's crazy too that the like, scree they this they the we'll save it for spoilers yeah, I guess but like even like everything with the baby every one of them were commenting like oh oh my goodness yeah. oh wow oh whoa I didn't see that one How coming how cute like oh my god yeah it's like and and Aww. I guess I shouldn't be shocked because. As soon as we got in the theater, there was all these girls like t like bad mouthing some other girl about her Instagram, and I was like, "Oh, okay." I these, heard that. I didn't are, know what they were talking about. These I just are heard clearly Instagram. our generation of people who need to let everyone know everything about their lives in every single aspect, yeah. and they need that for validation. And it's so disturbing. It's just fucking disgusting. Yeah, you gotta sometimes, you know. Go into yeah. yourself, man. This is the kind of movie you walk in where I'm like, wow, I want to get a vasectomy. Like, <laughs> I never want to have be like children. Jack Nicholson <laughs> at the end of fucking One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. It's hey, like... Chief, Chief, come on, put, you throw, put the ball in the hoop, Chief. This is just, uh, yeah, fucking horrific, just the, the kid worst teeny bad. boppers What ever. about the kid? Okay, let's get back into the boy. Let's yeah. get into bashing little boy. <laughs> He, he was just, um, it was just awkward. Just about. annoying. He didn't have he anything annoying. to do, really. No, that's the thing. A lot of the family had nothing the to do. The daughter, except for the boyfriend, which... It's, it's not too much Prospective boyfriend, which was in it for like 10 minutes. She didn't have anything to do. Yeah, and Mr. Incredible. Jack Jack. Yeah. That's what Mr. Incredible and the kids revolved around this entire the, the movie. Baby, taking yeah. care of the baby. Yeah. And... Which it's a not lot, really that interesting. Really. A, a lot of the baby stuff I did think was funny. Like, there's a raccoon segment that's fantastic. I, I like really that. liked that. I thought it was all right. I thought it was good. I mean, it was it was every time I was like, oh man, this is this is great, and then the audience would ruin it for me. I was like, oh wow, I can't enjoy any of this. Kind of, you want to steal it all from me? <laughs> <laughs> you want to steal it all from me? It's um, I, I would definitely say it, it's, it's a massive learning experience. I've learned a lot here. And that's never ever see an animated movie on the first weekend and it comes out. On see it on the opening. See it on a weekday and see the latest showing possible at night. Yeah. <laughs> see it on a Monday at 9 30 p.m. At one point, <laughs> the daughter Violet, she breathes water out of her nose, and if three oh, or yeah. four people start clapping. Oh. oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, that oh there was people right next to me. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, that's great! Oh, that's so funny! Like oh my god! A seal, a circus seal, man. <laughs> it was pretty rough. It's it's mind blowing. It, it really is. It's so disturbing. Did you think that the um, the Fantastic Four guys were a secret jab at the Fantastic, a subtle, thinly veiled jab at the real Fantastic Four? Uh, no, because, I mean, the first one is clearly... Or actually, you know what? Disney owns Fantastic Four. That no, doesn't make don't. much sense. No, and Fox owns it, and they don't... That deal hasn't gone through it's... yet, so okay. they don't own it. But the the first movie is, is basically a Fantastic Four movie, and this is... It's basically another continuation of that, you know? Yeah. It's, the Incredibles is basically Fantastic Four, a good version of it, which we've never had a good version, so... I don't know. That one from the... Roger Corman or something was pretty pretty out there, man. Pretty bizarre. I think bizarre. Roger Corman's was ninety four. I just guessed. Yeah. I've never seen it, honestly. I think it's on YouTube. Of course it is. <laughs> I've um, heard it's the best one, actually. <laughs> I've never seen. Actually I've licensed. never actually seen the um, ones from the early aughts. 
Uh, the Captain America one is. I've seen parts. Captain awful. America. Yeah, that one's really bad from like nineteen like ninety one. Oh, the Roger old. Corman movie. No, Roger Corman didn't direct it. It was it was somebody else. Yeah. It was horrific. It was awful. of equal equal production value. Let's say. Uh, I mean, I think Corman actually has like talent like he could he can maximize a budget and make a sh- show and he, a story. he puts like good music in the movie he'll spend money on some decent music and you know you can enjoy some corman movies whereas you know there's he's he's i mean he, the guy's prolific of giving a lot of people their starts who are some the voice who's the voice of the mother in the incredible uh i want to say bonnie hunt but i'm i'm not sure did you recognize any other voices? Bob Odenkirk was Bob the Odenkirk, brother. Bob Odenkirk, you started laughing as soon as you heard his voice. And I was, I was say Better Call Saul. I was like, I hope they don't make him a bad guy as soon That's as That's exactly the opposite. I was like, immediately, I was like, oh yeah, okay, clearly he's going to be the villain. It's Bob Odenkirk. Yeah. I thought it would be the sister. I thought it was going to be both of them. I thought they were both going to be the villains. That happened so often. Didn't that just happen in a movie? Rampage. The brother yes, and the, brother the sister and the were sister, villains. Yeah. Which was odd. Not yeah, we gave but... away the villains. I guess spoilers. <laughs> we didn't. Well, we didn't. I did. I. Yeah, you said she was the bad guy. It's a kids' movie. I don't give a fuck about spoilers. Yeah, we're gonna spoilers. We're gonna talk from now on. About the screech. Whatever the fuck we want. The screech. He when the vi- he shows up. Somebody. The people behind me. Oh no, or something like that. And I, my immediate reaction was to say, "Uh oh, the screech gang." Yeah. Or something like that. Uh-oh, the screech. I wanted to just keep clapping through the whole movie and go, oh my god! I mean, it would have been uh, pretty apt, wouldn't it? I mean, pretty much what at least one or two of the people wanted to do. I felt bad for insulting the solo, solo clappers because I thought maybe they're like super young or they're, yeah. you know, they might have some mental disease and yeah. clapping makes them feel good. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people like to clap. Apparently, it was very. Is, they never clapped before. It. They clapped right before the. Um, you know how they show um, the, the, a short film before the. the short. They clapped for the short film and then they <laughs> talked through the entire thing. Yeah, it's because because it's um. There's no dialogue in the uh, short film, which was very awkward. It was a very awkward short film. I thought it was really in bad taste, actually. In, 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 oh, in, it's in, the sun. Bad taste. Yeah. What you, I thought it was it, just. It, it it made me uncomfortable. Like, I just I thought it being was standard like PC Pixar police, short. But like, unless somebody Asian made that, it felt really, really weird to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't mean, like I could it. See that. I the was, Asian grandfather looked like it looked, super weird. Yeah, it looks. I mean, like I say, I'm not the PC police, but Holly it felt Hunter. really kind of racist to me. I didn't get that feeling, but you it know, felt you very felt un PC. But you know, if somebody Asian directed it, then whatever. But if it just felt wrong. The movie, that's the the whole thing with the mom. It felt like, why are they so, I had this whole PC spin on it. I'm like, why are they so trying so hard to make sure it's the woman she who does all the action? Do. Yeah. But yeah. the last movie, it was all about him. It makes sense. Yeah, and the last movie brings up those things. They know, replace the and... agent with the guy from Breaking Bad, Jonathan Banks, who was he? Was well, he... the original guy, I think, he passed died. away. Who? What? Yeah. Do you remember who it was? Yeah, he was. Um, he was a a, a famous um, artist who did a lot of hand drawn animation, and then he worked at Pixar. He made a short um, a short film, actually, that was on the Incredibles DVD that I just watched, and and they actually talked about him, and and, they, and Brad Bird asked him to voice the agent character. So I'm assuming he's passed away now. That's why they got yeah, Jonathan Banks. You. Bob Odenkirk. It says Bob Odenkirk was in the original. I'm looking at the cast. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, it says film series. Yeah. That's why it says film series. Um, Isabella Rosalini was in it. I noticed her voice, but I can't remember. There was this one random French character who was a woman. Just for briefly, one scene. Yeah. Um, Bud Lucky. Lucky? Jason Lee's voice was on... The original. Yeah, this he, is I the know whole... he was the villain in the original. I no, was... it's the. For some reason, I look up Incredibles cast. Google shows me the franchise cast. I'm sure it's IMDb. <laughs> it um, opens the app every time. Yeah. I ain't about that life. <laughs> but um, yeah. Also, I will say, like visually, um, this looked worse to me than the first. Film. Think so? 
Yeah, and I watched the movie, first movie on DVD today, and I was like, this well, looks they, worse. They did spend, the father and pig kids spent the entire time in the house, and the mother was in a city. The I'm, other one I'm was in a like, forest, CG, you know? The it just didn't look as good to me. Mm. There was a couple scenes that almost looked completely out of focus. I liked the little um, seamstress lady. Oh, she was fantastic in the first one. I loved her. She she had this line. He's like, uh, where have you been lately? And she's like, Milan, darling, Milan. <laughs> the baby was mimicking her, and they went nuts behind me like oh, a goddamn yeah. gang of seals. Yeah, when the baby has that fucking uh, lollipop in its hand. And she has mimi- the, uh, what do they call, anyone in the comments tell me, what do they call those things that rich old ladies have that they smoke cigarettes the cigarette with? cigarette holder thing. I just want to know what its real name is. It's yeah. got to be French for sure. Yeah, the thing that Cruella de Vil has. Exactly. Yeah. And I kind of want one now. <laughs> but alas, I'll probably never get one because yeah, the screech will take bar. it. <laughs> Ask them where they go to their hipster bar. <laughs> this car does anything. He said it creepily. I don't know why I thought I wrote to, thought to write that down, but I did. Yeah. This uh, car does anything. I can't remember it. I will honestly. say that. Like the first film, the action sequences are cool. You know, they they are well designed. I was, they were um, okay, but when it's a cartoon, even most time when mm. it's a real well, action movie, like I don't. Eh. So so it's, it's a motorcycle thing, driving on a, like you remember uh, in the first G- Casino Royale movie, um, the opening sequence. Yeah. On the uh, yeah, I, he's like riding a motorcycle on the or driving or running up well, the scale. Not that big in stuff. action films, I guess. I uh, love I love the raid. I love the first raid. I love the first raid and Die Hard. <laughs> and Die Hard. Well, there you go. In Predators. <laughs> Predators, huh? Big Adrian Brody fan. Predator. Pardon <laughs> me. Have you heard? A little off topic. But we're just gonna dive into it real quick and dive back out. Heard anything good about the new Predator movie? Um, everyone seems to hate it, but in Shane Black, I trust, except for Iron Man 3. <laughs> so. I do, I do trust Shane Black. He, I love um, Shane Black. Very talented. But speaking of Incredibles, I was honestly throughout, I was bored. I didn't really. Yeah, I mean, it's a superhero movie. I know you don't want to see those. Well, and... it's, plus it's a kid's movie that villains not, they I was thinking of this earlier. Why can't they just have a straightforward villain anymore? They always have to try to trick the audience. Well, that's the thing is the villain in the first movie is just solid. He's just really good. And he's just... It's Jason, Jason Lee. Yeah, Jason Lee's fantastic. It's just that little kid who was a big fan of Mr. Incredible. And Mr. Incredible kind of pushed him away. And so he just became this super villain who made all these gadgets and shit. Do superheroes make villains? The f- philosophical thoughts of Rudy mm-hmm. Land. Can't have to check him out the eye, huh? <laughs> God. The entire time, all these kids around me are laughing, giggling. I'm thinking, am I dead inside or something? Well, that's that the thing. That I'm feeling nothing is for I, most of I this. I felt like if it was just you and me and, you know, sane people, we would have been laughing and probably had a good time. But this... See, my whole thing is, it may have affected me, and I'm saying it had, didn't, but I just, as soon as we came in, I'm like, all right, this is what it's going to be throughout. I can't bitch and moan at anybody, because everybody else, they're just going to bitch and moan at me or whatever. Well, I'll say it's very healthy if people can still enjoy the movie and not let that bother them. I'm not one of those people. It can mm. truly ruin a movie for me. Yeah. People like that. You're an only child? No, I have four sisters. Damn it. <laughs> I guess. I t- sometimes you take a shot and you miss, gang. That's what happens. Sometimes you look like a, a super detective. Yeah. Sometimes you look like Mr. Magoo. Yeah. I'm Mr. Magoo right now. Yeah. The um. The other voice, a- the voice actress of the lady is Holly. Main lady is Holly Hunter. Holly Hunter. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's- <coughs> yeah, and they just sounded so old compared to the first movie. Like she sounded, sounded maybe because you just watched it; it's more fresher. Yeah. But it's been the fourteen years. The father probably did. The yeah, father Craig T. definitely Nelson. did. He, he's, I mean, what was his name? I can't. He was on something. He sitcom. sounded like he sounded like on a. He was on a sitcom or something. Sounded like a fucking grandpa. It yeah, exactly. It's, and you know, I like Brad Bird. He's a very talented director, and um, like I say, I don't think it's a bad movie. You know, we just we just had such a fucking terrible. The lady movie. from Get Out was um, the villain. The oh, main that psychiatrist, Catherine Keener. Catherine Keener, she's fantastic. She was the villain? Yeah. I knew ah. I heard the voice before. I couldn't place it, though. I thought it was... 
I kept thinking it was like Rashida Jones or something like that. For some Seriously? Reason. It's not a girl who looks like her. I'm trying to think. I can't yeah, think of anybody who looks reason. like her. I but think it, you're it a wasn't. racist, frankly. <laughs> yeah. You know, can always confusing white people. <laughs> Rashida Jones has got to be at least half mixed. Uh, Nothing. Look at a Maya Rudolph. She's half. Rashida Jones, you know who seriously, Maya Rudolph's not mixed at all. Is? She was that famous singer. Famous soul singer, I can't remember. Yeah, if name, you no. if you said She's the got name, that amazing I would hear song it. that was that she, her mother did it on Birds SNL. Flying High, you know how I feel. Yeah, it might be that. That's not it. That's a completely different person. But I'll no, look no, it up no, right yeah, now. No, no that's Rudolph Nina Simone. Mother. No, it's not Nina Simone. Did you watch that biography about her? Um, on the, Netflix with the uh, Zoe Zeldana. No, I think. no, she she had like blackface on. Well, movie. yeah, because Nina Simone was like oh, a she real was dark. dark yeah. She was a real dark lady. There was a lot of controversy. Meanie over that. Ripperton, loving you. Yeah, loving you. That's it. Yeah, I can't amazing think of it. song. I'll listen to loving it later. Loving you. Oh, okay. It was a major plot point in an early South Park episode that I had on VHS. The early South Park VHSs were awesome. Do you know why? Do you know who Maya Rodolph is married to? Before we get into this, no, I don't. P.T. Anderson. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah. It's kind of neat, yeah. kind of cool. Kind of cool. I kind of, I kind of like my Rudolph a little bit more. <laughs> but anyway, you're, you're going on. What was I saying? Yeah. Loving you. It was a central point to <laughs> South a Park South Park VHS I owned. Do you know why the so early South Park VHSs were awesome? There were South Park VHSs. Yeah, I had like my sister for my birthday one year yeah, got right. me like eight of them. Right, bigger, longer. And it I was got, only came out in '98, right? So there still would have been VHSs out here. Yeah, my yeah. brother had a VHS of that. <laughs> he hid it from me. <laughs> Thought it was gonna scar you for life, huh? Exactly. But anyways, <laughs> we failed there. <laughs> the uh, they the they would introduce each episode, Matt Stone and Trey Parker, but it was a total jerk off thing. On the VHS, what was it like? Two episodes? On the Look VHS? it up on YouTube. Really? They uh, the interviews are or the intros are there. Like the first ones, they were in a cabin in the during winter with sweaters and gay shit on every time there was a cut the dog would change like first yeah. a german shepherd then it's a pekingese second one they're either playing or singing in an old folks home and the third one was they were black and white indians they had an indian companion who they just yelled at or something how many episodes could they fit on the vhs for the show did you know i believe there was only two Two? Yeah. How shitty is that? A VHS can hold at least two hours. So, You're gonna put two half, two twenty-minute shows on one ten right. to twenty-dollar VHS. <laughs> you screwed my sister hard, <laughs> assholes. So, um, how many? See, were were the first like four seasons of South Park like in one three three then? Because it was on TV. Well, yeah, absolutely. Huh? Yeah. All shows before right, they were HD all happened are in one three three. Well, except for some shows on. Uh, uh, HBO. Yeah. Some were filmed in 178. Like, Sopranos were filmed in 178. Well, that's pretty forward thinking. Yeah. Because they were more filmic. The Shield can never be in Blu ray. They did do a Blu ray of it, though. They did? Yeah, it was like without, um, uh, whatchamacallit's authorization. Because um, I read, they like, they signs. either they shot it in standard def or standard like def on handy cams 133 you know some like it'd be insane for them to put it on blu-ray like well, if I'm, they tried to up convert it it would look terrible they, yeah they asked actually i remember david simon was talking about it and they said to him uh, he was talking and he said they they had the opportunity to shoot um in like 178 or like 185 or something like that and he was like no nah, he wanted it filmed in 133 because he was a he did a lot of uh, documentary work for news and, and stuff, and I yeah. guess he wanted it like the news or whatever. So, I think it helped the show. Yeah, it's I've only had a very the, frenetic pace. I've only seen the first season. I've got to get I would, seen everything else. I would suggest it, but it ends like all cop shows do. Oh, don't tell me. Yeah, I'm not gonna say yeah. nothing. I, uh, I, I. The Wire is a weird one because it's like I tried watching the first season like three times. You like, couldn't get into life. the Wire. For the first season, it's I kept not. Trying. It's not as great as everybody says it and is. Then, it's then very season, similar, isn't? like I said about yeah. the Shield. It's very similar to a lot of cop shows you've seen before. If you've seen like a lot of Love the procedurals, you yeah. um, you've well, seen it before. It, I mean, The Wire is really a a serial because they're telling a whole story each season, right? Yeah, 
Well, so sort of a crime season. story each season. The characters' yeah. arcs are the same, I think. Yeah, like, it's they don't really like, change, like, no. Know, death of the Week or anything like CSI or something like that. So. Each season is, they have one major crime to deal yeah. with. The first one, it's, uh... That black dude, Michael he's kind B. of... Michael Jordan is on the first He's one. a it's young incredible. kid. Yeah, he's pretty good. Idris Elba's so fucking good in Yeah, show. he is the reason he's, to watch that show, honestly. And, uh, Him and... Uh, Michael K. Williams is Yeah, really what is good. the name? Do you remember the name of Michael K. Williams' character? Nah, I can't remember. I'm only think I can only think of Bubbles right now for some reason. Yeah, and obviously McNulty's great. And I love the bald cop. Bald cop's good. I can see him saying, McNulty, McNulty, McNulty. <laughs> Yeah, like the I casting said it way of the show is just fucking incredible. Everybody's so good on that show. It gets sort of, for me, for me. How many podcasts you, in a row am I gonna do me that? Personally, joke? <laughs> anyways, the first up until the season where they replace the main drug bad guy, it then it gets kind of bad, and then yeah. it gets kind of like, all right, what are we doing here? We're just yeah. we're just killing time. Yeah. I did like the lesbian hitman, though, but she was kind of annoying at some points. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, we were <laughs> talking about a, what um, is a super, for my intro, what's a super violent superhero movie? Super, uh, based on a graphic novel or just superhero movie? Super movies? violent imagery. Super violent. Maybe Mystery Men? Mystery Man sucks dick. I haven't seen it in a while. I Paul Rubens is in it. Fucking Ben Stiller in that. Well, movie. when did you God, see it? Fucking when I was young. I, no, I, I you never don't. want to watch it again. Right. Maybe, I'm, more, maybe I'm willing actually. to give it a shot because I haven't seen it in a There's while. There's better stuff to watch on the list, you know. I mean, you already had me watching Bulletproof. Asshole. You made my list. <laughs> Apparently, this guy hates Bulletproof. Let's give our final impression yeah. and final ratings of uh, Incredibles, and um, we'll get into Bulletproof. All right. Okay, I'll go. Um... I go. Miserable, miserable experience. Uh, the theater was just fucking <laughs> filled with the worst fucking Instagram wannabe models and just fuck boys. Uh, the sabotage the film for me. Effeminate. There's a different. I feel like there's. Isn't there a difference between what yeah, is the fuck boys, the fuck dude boys, who you fuck, and yeah. we were dealing with Not a group of boys, well, they, what they say is effeminate yours. cucks. Is what I understand, <laughs> right? <laughs> Sure. When dude's saying, oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I guess that's not a fuck word. I mean. It's true. Gotta get our lingo right. But, um, I'm not, I'm, I know I'm forward thinking here. But, but in the term cuck. Yeah. It's, um, it, you know, I, I just, I'll just give it a six out of ten. I just, whatever, six out of ten. Give it a, uh. It's tough. I'll give it a four. I'll give it a four. What? Give it a four. It um is a standard kids movie. Villain is uninteresting. They do a lot of stuff that I've seen in these kids movies and superheroes movies before. I was bored and ready to leave throughout. (laughs) Honestly, the only enjoyment I got was how just thinking how stupid the people around me were. Just the comments of things they were saying. I was ready to leave immediately. I honestly. Uh oh! It's the screech. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I really wanted to walk out, but because movie pass fucked us all and we can't see the movie again, I, I, I really wanted to fucking walk out. I didn't really have any desire to see it anyways. And the, I you mean, should fucking tell me that. We wouldn't have just saw oh, Tag instead. I'll, I'm down for either. I have Damn, zero man. desire to see either in reality, but you want to go see a movie and do a podcast? I'm, I'm down to do that. I don't give a shit. Jesus. It's just kids' movies are all the same to me. There's no... It's too yeah, you too need to boring. See padding. Paddington's fun. <laughs> no, he's always pledging Paddington. You so need I'm to see the Never movie. Ending Story. That's I've seen it. I just see. haven't seen it since I was five. See it again. That's a great film. Oh, we saw Dark Crystal, which is very different. Yeah, that's what good. I like. It was because it's. I don't know. It's not like the, it's the you know that you think the character is going to die at any point, but I mean, you know, you feel yeah. like all right, we got to save this world or whatever. Yeah, I just tell people if you're gonna see it, you know, wait, wait for wait for a weekday. See it with your family on a weekday. Don't fucking go on a weekend and deal with all these miserable fucks. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah. Go when uh, kids are in school, which may not be too much longer. And yeah, this, as of this vacation. recording, yeah, we gotta be careful from now on. R R rated only and X. We going from now on. Porno podcasts, movie wanking, Rudy Land. How about um, 
I was going to say recommend kids' movies, but that's well, too broad. I would recommend uh, good Pixar movies. That we yeah, really go like. ahead. Go uh, give um, me a good Pixar movie. I'll give a really uh, like. uh, quick... Well, I, I don't want to just recommend something new, but I'll, uh, I'll go with kind of... Um, I'll go with Wally for my first one. I still haven't um, seen it. It's very, very divisive. It's extremely sad. The first like is hour, that why people don't like it because yeah, sadness. The first you're fucking. Are you adults or what? The, fucking deal with the it. The first like hour of that movie is like about like depression and like being completely alone. Well, that's what makes the rise at the end. So there, I'm assuming there is a rise at the end. It's, it's but that makes what make, that's what makes the rise at the end so powerful. And it's about man. just this little junk robot who's on a junk planet and he's all alone. And he falls and in love. I literally cried throughout like almost the, the entire first half of the movie because it really affected me. Do you have a really high amazing. opinion of Pixar? No, I don't. I mean, I have been really affected by the Toy Story movies because the first two came out when I was very young. Yeah. And then the third one came out when I was graduating college and it's about the kid graduating college. So it really... It, they, those three films were completely about kids of uh, our exact age. The first one worked for me, but the rest, they just felt like we're, we're treading the same water. No, I, Even I, when I was I a young kid, like, I way. liked them. I'd watch them, but it's just like, yeah. all right, I'm, the, we're doing the same thing here. Well, the, the second one, I'll agree, you know, I, I, it's it's trying to do the same, but the third one's totally different. It's it's about moving on with your life yeah. and getting rid of the old things, and, and it, that really spoke to me. But I would definitely highly recommend Wally. There's a lot of people that they felt weird about but kids movies are supposed to make you feel things they're supposed yeah. to movies are supposed movie. to make you feel yeah, things exactly um so that that would be my first pixar recommendation there's a lot of people that um like they, they don't talk about that one as much and because i guess you know they're afraid to feel they're i've never seen it just because i don't think i've never known anyone who's owned it and i've never yeah. you know been looking on netflix when it's been available yeah i, I think it's very good my first one is since I saw a preview for the sequel, uh, Wreck It Ralph. That's not Pixar. It's not. It's just Disney. Oh, okay. Never mind that. <laughs> we'll go. Um, seriously, why yeah. wouldn't they just Disney just put that out? It's not. It's separate from Pixar. Oh, okay. We'll go with uh, Bugs Life then. Oh yeah. I uh, it's. I want to rewatch Bugs Life. Again, it's not great, but. At least there's some humor there. Right. Some above average for a kid's movie, especially now, humor for I think me. that's one of their first movies they put out. Like the the dude one. who was in Kids in the Hall starred in it. Julie yeah. Louis-Dreyfus was the lead lady. Do you remember the um, uh, the other movie that came out that was trying to be... Ants, I never Ants, saw it. Like Woody Allen or something? I downloaded it once to watch it at yeah. work. I started it and I'm like, I don't want to do this. Yeah. I can't. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, that, I, I loved when there was like two movies out each year that were trying to be the exact same. They tried to get Deep Impact earlier. and what was the Bruce Willis one? Armageddon. Armageddon uh, London is fall. I mean, uh, Olympus is fallen. White House down. Um, uh, Dante's Peak and Volcano. Yes, Dante's Peak and Volcano. There's there's a, a lot of them out. I there. remember when I was a kid, I noticed it and I was like, and why do they? Why are they doing those this? Those are my favorite conversations to have with people. It's like, which one do you prefer? Because you yeah. can have such a fun conversation with that. Um, you know. Yeah, but we're not going to get into no, it now. No. Uh, that would we'll, be actually interesting. <laughs> we'll do that another time. Yeah. We'll do that another another instance. But uh, so a Bugs Life, yeah. You got any others? I've forgotten yeah, a bunch would, of them, um, honestly. I would go with Ratatouille, which Brad Bird also directed. I still haven't seen that either. Oh, it's so good. It's it's like a foodie movie. Patton Oswalt plays the rat, and it's just all about him in the kitchen. And He kind of annoys me. Really? Patton Oswalt? Politically. Oh, yeah. Well, I, well his like, wife died. And... I'm fine with his wife dying, but like he's a, doing. you're doing the same shit that the idiots on the left are. You're just bashing people for criticizing or critiquing a movie that fucking sucked yeah i mean i like pat oswald a lot but like he his comedy now is it's just that same type of trump sjw shit. bullshit it's, trump it, is a piece of shit hey he sucks russia's dick guys yeah <laughs> and it, it, it it's because i think his wife died that he's in a real dark place as a comedian he just doesn't know what to do and he's, he's just sort of lashing out he's just doing the schlocky shit yeah um yeah, it's 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 like you it's like dude you're way better than this. Like this is take some time off, take a few years 
and get some good stand-up material because this has just been embarrassing. I couldn't even watch that Netflix special. Yeah. I saw the trailer and I was like, oh, Jesus, Patton. This is, you're so much better Have than you this. watched any of the ones with the chick who did one with, like, her shirt off? What, but Chelsea Handler? Nah, she, like... She has a weird name. I don't. I don't listen to female comics. I, I don't think they're funny, except for they, Sarah uh, Personally, I think females can be just as funny as men. FYI, gang. But uh, I disclaimers uh, aside, I think you're fucking wrong. I think men are way funnier than women. Yeah. I don't think it's anywhere fucking close. I just think that there's stand-up too much. Comics, there's too dude? much diluted. Name them. Name, there's too name many five shitty. great female stand-up comics right now. Right now? Right now. I don't watch stand-up that exactly. much. Exactly. It's total bullshit. Name five great male stand-ups right now. Yeah, I guarantee you. Like, I don't watch you much can't? stand-up. Oh, wow. Dave okay. Chappelle, Chris Rock. Chris Rock David 10, Tal. 20 years ago. I haven't watched Chris a Chris Rock special now, since. All right, then there you go. He's now. not good now. There you go. He was great. David Tal's fucking great. Fucking Jim Gaff again. You know, we've, it's... There's, there's this one right. lady, she does really great impressions. She's blonde, there, I, super skinny, nerd. There's great female comics out there, but yeah. it's... It's harder to find them. Than women. Because women... They are. The, it's just reality. There's other women that... It's harder to find funnier women because the sexy ones flow to the top, and the ones who say, my vagina, yeah, flow I to mean, the top. There's, there's, there's funny females in comic movies, but, I mean, just stand-up... There's a lot of women that are just... They're not fucking funny, man. Yeah. They're not. Like, Amy Schumer's not funny. She's not I'm, funny. I'm inclined to agree with you there. I watched you know, one... Like, the one Netflix special, she would leather. Yeah. It was really oh, embarrassing. Yeah. Like, I like Sarah Silverman. She's quick. She's got some, you know, funny shit. Um, you know, there's some older comics, you know. But it was really tough for women back in the old days of being in clubs. Like, it was a lot of sexual harassment, a lot of really brutal shit. Um, you know, like... I'm trying to think Keeping of, you out because you're a woman? I'm trying to think of... Uh, she's passed away now. She used to have all that... Pla- Joan Rivers. I was trying to think of yeah. her earlier when I was trying to think of funny women, but then you yeah. said, now. Yeah. Oh. I shouldn't think of her anyways. Yeah. Joan Rivers did a lot of really funny stand-up early on. She was, like, kind of a legend back in the old day, early days. I hadn't um, seen much. Yeah. Kathleen uh, Madigan. She was funny Madigan. in the stuff I saw her in. Yeah, so... Yeah, there's, like, the female comics now, it's just so cringy and terrible, the stand-up. Why don't you uh, do me a favor? <laughs> Give me another Pixar film. Uh, so I, we said, can, I said Ratatouille. Ratatouille? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Was really, I sidetracked us. Yeah, it was a Pat Oswalt. Again, I did it. Yeah, it's your fault. My, my apologies, gang. My uh, next one will go... I'm having a tough time. I'm b- picking between two or three of them. <laughs> no, I'm not. We'll go with... Uh, We'll go with Monsters, Inc. I saw it when I was a kid. It's got John Goodman and Billy Crystal. You know, yeah. It's solid, I guess. And the always lovable Nikita Khrushchev. Mm. I'm trying to think of that actor's name. Can you tell me? He, um, Steve Buscemi? Steve Buscemi. <laughs> as Steve Randall. Bush- I didn't know he was in, in, in Monsters, Inc. I He's the forever. purple guy. Oh. The bad guy was, it's been 20 years guys get over it, it if you haven't I seen saw it, it yet once in the theater when i was a kid yeah i haven't seen it I, I didn't see the sequel or the prequel monsters, i didn't see that either monsters i don't plan on seeing it either I, there's a lot of them i haven't seen brave either i saw it it was kind of strange it sort of started no, going I'm one not. way and then it really sidetracked went a different way I haven't seen Up I heard that was really it good it was good I liked Up I was going to suggest that if I didn't suggest Monsters I Inc. haven't seen Inside Out which I heard that was good too it's it's good it's got some really cool visuals like there's very few I moments in rip off too of something else yeah they, they stole the whole idea oh it's yeah like, it's like a Disney ride right well Disney put you know, I know design. but it's, I went it's like some like Japanese <laughs> thing Oh, okay. Show or something. I went on this ride when I was a kid, and as soon as I saw a preview for Inside Out, I'm like, oh, I remember going on that ride. You're like in this kid's brain, and you know, you experience yeah. stuff. Like when somebody bl- sneezes on him, you know, you feel the puff of air, shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any other Pixar films? Uh, well, like I said, I mentioned uh, the, the Toy Story trilogy. I, you know, was just I'd, meant, I'd recommend the first Toy Story and Up. As far as the rest of Pixar films that I've seen, <laughs> any other, any other, you know, you got any notes? Any other any notes, sort of any feelings? thoughts? Any ideas here? Ah, uh, yeah, let let the new generation burn to the ground. 
Long live the, long live the old king, is what my friend cries. My friend Wally Gator. I'm Sandy sorry. I, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting to name him. So my um, soon-to-be genocidal friend ad- advocates the murder of children. Uh, let's close on that. Um, I don't agree with murdering children. Thank you.